miscommunications happen, but this is a really cool place. I'm at a little factory here, uh, another mom and pop business. Good idea for you, maybe. They make plastic material. Uh, the stuff I'm supposed to pick up is not here. And I'm like, mm, that's not what I wanted, but they make this other stuff, which is still pretty cool. And I get to show you. So this is a little manufacturing shop and they make what we call tr uh, truss core. So it's plastic, smooth, it's got a little J chip on the one side and it pops into the other side. So you just nail this and then you put the next piece in. Makes for really cool stuff, plus moldings. And they got the machines right in here to do it. Make any length you want, because they just roll it off and cut it. And different widths as well. So these look like they're all 16. You can see here how they clip together though. Right, the one sheet pops right inside the other one. So you put one on, you nail it to the wall on here, then you pop the next sheet in. And when you're washing, the wall, uh, water will go right down. It can't go up and get into your wood. Excellent product. Not what I wanted. Well, this is what I wanted, but it's more money. This is about three times as much money as the stuff that I wanted. Then they've got all their J trims and moldings as well. But that's what they're making here. Wes is just peeking in the hopper. I'll go over there a minute. Very cool shop. Uh, this is on a farm here. So they farm here, they milk cows in the building over there, and then they're building this. I think this is moving, but I actually can't tell. I believe it is. It's just rolling through. So we'll start in the beginning process. In here we got a hopper and they're mixing up different chunks of plastics. So these are all plastic pellets, probably recycled materials. That gets dumped into the hopper with a bunch of other stuff. It runs up in here, mixes up together, goes into this press and slowly augers its way through. See some stuff running. It's getting heated in here and then it's going to get extruded in this machine here. Plastic gets injected air. They've got water on it to cool it off right away. So I can't see it moving, but that's running right now. Water bath again keeps it all cool. Fans running. Here you can see it's moving. This guy's cutting the holes in it. So over here right now there's no hole. You see there's no hole in it. And on this side there is. Now you can see there's a hole and you can see it actually moving. Isn't that amazing? This starts off as a raw product. There's all the punches coming out. Really well. One man's just looking after this. No idea what it's doing in here. Slowly feeding through. This must be set to automatically cut as it's slowly coming out of here. So they can program it for a certain length. And there must be a knife in here. We're going to see it cut here shortly, I guess. Oh, there it is cut already. There you go. So I don't know what cut it. Something in here is cutting it. Probably this machine. stack it up here so you can buy this in different widths it looks like they only make this stuff but you can get it all the way up to two feet that's cool one thing I was wrong on actually they auger it in the white plastics outside he says he just finishes it with that green stuff so they don't waste the good stuff but there's a bin outside full of white plastic that they run through the whole system to make this any size you want pretty neat very cool so the stuff we need is actually made by another guy from their group of churches. And uh, he's somewhere in this area, but there's miscommunication. I don't know if I can get it today, unfortunately. The stuff I want, it looks more like 
Well, kind of like wall steel. Kind of looks like this kind of stuff, but it's plastic. And um, anyway, it's not here. So we will wait to hear back from the guy, whoever he works for, I guess is who we're waiting for. Uh, the other guy also works for him. So we're waiting to hear back now. I'll sit here and wait. He's going in for lunch and I guess we'll hang out here. Nothing better to do. We can eat our lunch too, maybe. It's a little bit early yet, but we can do that. I think these little manufacturing spots are just awesome and it just shows you you don't need a huge factory, you don't need a big production assembly, you just need a place, you need the equipment, you need a little bit of know-how and uh, away you go. They're actually planning on milking cows here eventually, so there's no cows in here, there's uh, steers, they're feeding beef animals in here right now. It's a little family farm, again they got a nice house here and then uh, looks like a bit of a workshop. I right, hope you guys all enjoyed that video as much as Wes and I did making it. Uh, don't forget to check out the links down below this video and a little flash to the future. Where are we? Follow in Telegram and Instagram for instant updates on our travels. God bless you.